and welcome to another story time. Today's story is a cartoon style vibe uh, entitled uh, Kyle and Sky. Uh, it was really funny. I have a lot of commentary during the story uh, that chat demanded that I keep in, um, which I, I think I was going to anyway. It just, it adds just a little bit of something to this chaotic and bizarre story. I'm telling you, you cannot guess how this goes. Like, you can sit there, it's like one of those things where it's like, I can figure out the ending. No, you can't. No, you can't. You can't figure out what's happening because I didn't even know what was happening. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. Our story. I can't get over this. I hope you enjoy Kyle and Sky. story are, are I would like you to open with me and imagine if you would um, a little a little black widow spider you know so so we have you know our little spider with its black body and its red little hourglass on its butt okay <laughs> imagine with me this little spider um, who lives in a very um, bright and colorful house this is this is their house they're not you know they haven't gone into someone else's house and it's it's random shapes um i want you to imagine kids cartoon vibes here okay um so like one wing of the house is like a triangle and then we have another wing of the house that's like this long rectangle um we have like a circle on top you know, like just very, like very cartoonish and uh, very, like ah, uh, like shaped house, right? Um, ooh, spaghetti, nice. So we have we have this spider in this very cartoonish and shapey house, um, and our friendly spider is going to be uh, Sky. Um, so Sky, right? Um. Sky is just a tiny little spider. Uh, if we compare Sky to all of their family members, uh, they would be considered like the runt of the the run. Like they're the smallest, even though they're not young anymore. They're a full grown adult at this point. Um, they're the smallest. They're like the meekest. They're actually kind of shy. Um, and all of this you can like just tell by looking at this spider. Why? Because it's a cartoon. Um, and we we open our we open today's cartoon on on Sky just like twiddling their their front hands like just like going like this you know very nervously and 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 with their other six legs they're pacing back and forth they're just they're pacing and they're they're a little nervous you know and and you know and it's because we see behind them okay behind them we see like a calendar and we see like days crossed off right. And we have like a big circle on today. Like there's a bunch of red circles on today and they're pacing back and forth. And they're, you know, they're taking deep breaths and they're they're adjusting their clothes and, and they're very nervous. They're very nervous because because today's a big day. You know, today today's a big day. Today's a big day. Um today's a big day, okay? And they're they're very panicked and they're very they're very overwhelmed. Um and there's a knock on their door. I, I should go get the door. I should I should go get the door. And she, you know, they they scurry up to the door and they open the door and standing at the door is a purple sock. Uh, now the sock is like an upside down, like imagine a sock puppet sock. That's the vibe that we get here. Is it's a purple sock with like little googly eyes on it, um, and it has like a face drawn on it. Um, 
but it's still it's like that hand sock puppet vibe so like it's just like when it opens its mouth like it like straightens it flattens out and then it like goes in you know so it's like that it's it's a sock puppet okay it's a purple sock puppet um oh hi hi kyle hi um, I, I, hi, hi, Kyle. Today, today's the day. Today's the day. Uh, and, and Sky walks back inside and continues pacing. Um, and Kyle takes this as his cue to come inside. And, and, and how Kyle walks is he's a sock puppet, right? And he just hops. He hops. Okay. Um, so Kyle hops on in, uh, and, and just sighs. Just goes, Sky. Sky. It's going to be fine. Today is going to go amazing. You're going to meet them, and they're going to be just as amazing of a friend as they've been online, okay? You're going to meet them. They're going to be wonderful. It's going to, it's going to be fine. But what if they're not? You know, what if, what if, what if I'm a little, <laughs> you know, what if, what if something happens? What if, what if for some reason they don't like me? What if, what if, you know, maybe what if, um, I don't know. <laughs> what if something goes wrong? Okay? What if something goes wrong? What if- <coughs> I'm choking myself. What if something goes wrong and what if- What if- What if they don't like me in person? What if- What if- What if they don't like Black Widow spiders? Because some people are really scared because we can- We can be like, you know, we can be harmful. But like, I don't want to be. They're really cool and I think they're really nice and I just want to be their friend. I just, I just want to be their friend, maybe more than their friend. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, possibly. I just, and 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 Sky continues pacing back and forth. You know, they're 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 doing their hands back and forth. They're very nervous. You can, it's just this very nervous, cartoonish, nervous energy, right? Um. Also, hello, Parsnip. We're telling a story about a nervous Black Widow spider in a cartoon style story. Um. And, and Kyle, the purple sock, <laughs> comes just, comes hopping up, and Kyle doesn't have hands, okay? He's a sock. He's a purple sock. But somehow he still manages to put an arm around Sky. Just goes, Sky. Sky. You are an amazing Black Widow spider. No, no, I'm not having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> No. Um. <laughs> um. Somehow, somehow, it's possible for, uh, for uh, Kyle to put put an arm around Sky, and just go, Sky. Listen to me, Sky. Okay. You are an amazing Black Widow spider. You are so kind and so caring and you have such a big heart there's no way if they don't like you because you're some black widow spider or another then there's something wrong with them not you you are amazing and wonderful and this is what gets sky to like stop and they stop they stop nervously moving their hands and they, they look over at Kyle and they go, Really? Are, are you sure? And this purple sock just nods. This guy takes a deep breath. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna text them and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if, if, let me see if the, I'm just gonna check in. I'm gonna check in, okay? I'm gonna check in. Um, alright. Let me switch the music. <laughs> no, fire snip, it's all good. I'm storytelling. Um, alright. Let us switch to... So, Sky pulls out their phone. And you see a little text conversation. And, you know, they scroll through really fast. Like, just, like, glancing at all the previous texts. And there's there's things like, oh my gosh, you seem so cool. I can't wait to meet you in person. And um, you're amazing and you're wonderful. And just, like, just, oh my god. Like, just, like, wonderful conversations happening, right? And this guy takes a moment to, like, look through these and reread these before just taking a deep breath. 
and texting. And they shoot a text that just goes, hey, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to meet up now. Um, are you, do you think like half an hour is half an hour good? Um, and they get a text back that just goes, no. And it's a capital N, a lowercase o, and a period. And Sky tilts their head and replies, Are you are you okay? Is everything okay? Yes. Capital Y, lowercase e, lowercase s, and a period. And Sky turns to Kyle and goes, Um Kyle? Kyle, something's wrong. This isn't how they text. This is not- we've been texting for over a year. This is not how they text. Kyle, Kyle, what's going on? Kyle, I don't know what to do. Um, and Kyle hops over because he's a purple sock. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop with just emphasizing the purple sock because y'all had me include a purple sock in a story. Okay? Um, and, and Kyle hops over, you know, being the purple sock that he is. And, um, and takes a look and goes, what do you mean? What's, what's, what's going on? <laughs> well, um, <laughs> we've been texting a lot and, and, and we don't use punctuation with each other first off, uh, as well as like, it's just one word responses. Uh, we talked before and I told them how like, um, um, I prefer, I'm not a big fan of one word responses uh, for a lot of things, unless it's like a direct yes or no question or something like that. Um, because like, I think it leaves up too much room, especially over like messages to like interpretation. And I just, I, I'm very bad at reading, like reading social cues and that sort of thing. So it's, it makes me very nervous. Um, and it makes me like very concerned and that sort of thing. And so, and so when we were talking, we agreed that we weren't going to use like one word responses with each other, unless it was a direct yes or no question. Um, or it was like, you know, like, what's your favorite color? Oh, blue, you know? Um, like, if it's something like that, like, something that, like, a one-word response, like, makes perfect sense and, like, more words would just be, like, confusing or, like, just not work, then we agreed that that was fine. But, like, otherwise we agreed that, like, we were going to do more than one-word responses because, like, it just, because it makes me feel better and they want me to not feel weird and not feel bad about stuff. And, and, and they just sent two one-word responses for stuff that, like, they should be saying more, shouldn't they? because we agreed to meet up at this time and we agreed that this was the case, but, but, but. And, and Kyle, the purple sock in his very cartoonish manner, hops over, takes a look over this black widow's shoulder. Please also remember they're in their cartoonish bright shape house. Um, and um, looks confused. Oh. Hey, uh, Sky, don't you guys, don't you guys, that does seem really weird. If you really think that something's wrong, um, you guys, you guys shared your guys' locations with each other so that it would be easier to find you guys, right? When you, like, go, when you go and to meet up and that sort of thing, um, and, and, and Sky nods, <laughs> and, well, why don't you, why don't you click on that and we can, we can, you know, we can see you know, if, because they told you where they live, too, didn't they? Like, and you know where you're supposed to meet, so we can see if, like, something's weird. Um, and, and Sky nods and pulls open the Find My Friends app. <laughs> and, uh, clicks on it and looks at it, and looks at Kyle and goes, that's a warehouse. That's a warehouse. They're at a warehouse. They don't, they don't live at a warehouse. We weren't gonna meet at a warehouse. A warehouse is nowhere near. Um, Kyle, what do I do? Uh, and and once again, Sky begins to pace back and forth on six of her legs, and and with the other two, just kind of starts doing her nervous little motion that just just back and forth, pacing back and forth, unsure what to do. And Kyle Kyle hops to follow her, and just hops because he's a purple sock. In our very cartoonish style story, a purple sock. Um, and yeah, that works. Uh, and he he just kind of he looks and he goes, "All right, let's go. I have a car. Let's go." 
uh, and just, you know, uh, the two get in the car. Kyle driving. Uh, please remember, this purple sock does not have feet. But somehow, because this is a cartoon, he still manages to drive. How he manages to drive? I don't know. It's cartoon magic. Figure it out. Right? Okay. So they drive to this warehouse. And there's, there's, you know, it's just, it's a warehouse, okay? It's a warehouse. It's an abandoned cartoon warehouse. You can picture it. It's just, it's an abandoned cartoon warehouse. You do the work here, okay? That's not my job. I know I'm the stel- storyteller, but that's not my job. I'm not supposed to describe to you how a cartoon warehouse looks because y'all wanted me to do a cartoon style. Jeebus, Christopher. All right. Anyway, so they get to this cartoonish warehouse. And they get out of the car, and I'm still confused as to how a purple sock is driving a car. But it's a cartoon, so we allow it to happen. Anyway, so they get to this warehouse, and they hop out. And they go up to the door, and um, Kyle, once again, a purple sock. Doesn't have legs, doesn't have hands, it's just like an upside-down sock with googly eyes. And a mouth drawn on. Okay? Okay? That's what he is. That's what he- but he somehow knocks on the door with his hands. He doesn't have hands. Kyle doesn't have hands! Okay? He's just a purple sock, but somehow he has hands and he knocks on the door. And there's no answer. It's okay. Okay, there's no answer. There's no answer. (laughs) Um, you know, he- he knocks. And, um, there's no answer. Uh, but the door does swing open. Um, the door does swing open and, um, they walk inside and it's, it's, there's holes in the roof. Like you can see, it's like the middle of the day. You can see there's light. Uh, and they, the two of them walk in. Well, Kyle hops in cause he's a sock and, um, Sky walks in on their, on their six legs, you know, cause two of them, they're, they're still very nervous and they're doing their little nervous. So they're just walking out six of their legs, which is like a little bit unstable for them. <laughs> Just a little bit unstable for them, but it works. It's fine. It's fine. They're nervous enough that, like, they've had practice. So, like, a normal Black Widow, you know, walking like that would be, like, they'd struggle a little bit, at least in this cartoonish world. Um, but no, Sky's had enough practice. But anyway, so they get to the center of the room, and it's just a wide open warehouse. There's no extra rooms. It's just, it's half decayed. Like, it's it's really kind of actually gross in there. Um but there's literally nothing in this warehouse except for in the very center there's a piece of paper sitting on the floor otherwise there's literally nothing in this building and so the two of them they go up they they walk up right and they go and they they go to the piece of paper and it just says she's mine obviously this sends sky into a panic attack uh because this is this is a very nervous black widow She's very, they're very nervous. They're very nervous. They're struggling. They're not having a good time. This is supposed to de- be a day where they meet one of their online friends. It was supposed to be wonderful. Their best friend. Um, like, and, and things are just not going well for them. Okay. Um, so they pull their phone back out, um, after Kyle prompts it. Um, and, and they once again look at, you know, the Find My Friends app. Uh, and it's moved. Because, um, wherever, wherever this online friend is, whatever they're doing, they have their phone on them. And, um, you know, it's implied, it's implied by the note that says she's mine, um, that there's somebody else with her. We don't know this for sure. We haven't seen them. We haven't had, like, a cut over to them or anything. Like, we just, we don't know. Um, but it can be assumed, it can be, it's, it's kind of implied that, like, she's with someone else and they were, like, just let her keep her phone or something. Which, like, you know, is fine. You know, good on them. Like, she gets to keep her phone. She gets to, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, wrong song. Okay. Um, so they go and they, once again, they get in the car and Kyle drives, which, um, I'm still confused about. I am getting hung up on the fact that it's a sock. Um, I think, I think I have every right to get hung up on this, like, sock detail. Because, like, the other things were fairly fine, right? Uh, and then there's just a purple sock thrown in, okay? 
and uh, then I had to give him a name, so I named him Kyle. Uh, and he's actually a lot more important to the story than I was originally going to have him be, but it's fine, it's fine. Anyway, I digress. So, this time, uh, following the GPS, they are led to a fountain. Where in the center of the fountain, um, there's like, so it's like a, a tiered fountain, okay? So there's like the big one, and then there's like the smaller one, and then there's like the top where it comes out. Um, and normally... On the top of this particular fountain, um, there's like a in a, like a statue that's like an angel. That statue's not there. Instead, what's there is a, a pickle, and not just not just any pickle, uh, but it's a chocolate pickle with a monocle. Okay, and um. He sees, he sees Sky, and he sees Kai. He sees Sky walking up, and Kyle hopping along, and he just, he just starts to laugh. <laughs> oh, welcome! And Sky and Kyle are a bit taken aback, and I think they have every right. I think they have every right to be taken aback by just like that really random laugh from a chocolate pickle with a monocle. You know, I think, I think that it's perfectly reasonable for, for these two to just be taken aback. Like, like, the pickle is, is, is standing, resting, I'm balancing, I'm not sure what the right word for this is. Where normally there's a stone angel statue, um, and instead there's a chocolate pickle with a monocle that's laughing, maniacally. But it's a, you know, a, we accept this as fact, okay? And, um, he just goes. <laughs> you can't tap her, she's mine! What makes you think that you have any sway here? What makes you think you can do anything? You were following her phone? You were falling into my trap. <laughs> uh, and then he gets airlifted away by a helicopter. Why? Because he's a dapper chocolate evil pickle. That's why. He's an evil chocolate pickle with a monocle. And, um, this, this greatly, this confuses Sky and, 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 <laughs> hello new viewer, I'm telling stories based off of chat. Uh, right now we have Sky, the nervous black widow spider. We have uh, Kyle, our purple sock without arms or legs. And we have uh, an evil chocolate pickle with a monocle who just got airlifted away. Um, anyway, so... <laughs> what a story. Just saying... We're time out real quick, real quick, okay? <laughs> real quick, okay? Saying, listing off our characters for this story right now just made me realize how strange it really is. But, let's get back to it. As this pickle, this chocolate pickle is airlifted away, Sky and Kyle are standing there. Uh, and these little tiny, um, they're little sea pickles. Think of, I want you, I want you to think of Minecraft sea pickles. If you don't know what those are, they're like little, they're little, like little pickles and they have little like things sticking out. They're really cute. I think they're cute. Uh, but we have a bunch of those that come like hopping out and around the fountain. Okay. With tiny little, with tiny little coral swords. Okay. They're just, they're holding little coral swords. And, and you just hear, ha, 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 as they hop out, right? <laughs> right? Okay. They're just, that's, that's all the noise they make. And, and then one of them, one of them who, uh, is holding, so most of them have pink or red coral swords. This one has a blue coral sword. He hops forward the most and he goes, ha, you can't win. We will defend our pickle king. Uh, and then the rest of them, in response to that, go, ha! And raise their swords. Now, here's where our story takes a little turn. 
Um, because Sky, Sky looks terrified at this. There's about 20 tiny little sea pickles, all with coral swords raised, looking at them. Okay? Kyle, on the other hand. Kyle raises his non-existent fists and looks ready to fight. Takes a fighting stance. And just... And, and the lead sea pickle goes, Charge! And all the sea pickles start hopping. Ha! 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 And they start swinging their swords at Kyle and a big fight ensues. A big cartoonish fight ensues. And it is Kyle, the purple sock that doesn't have hands or legs, kung fuing his way through about 20 sea pickles with coral swords. And we have a quick little, we have a quick little... Like, you know, like those stereotypical in cartoons where it's like, kapow, ka-chang, things like that. We have those appear on the screen. And then suddenly there's a pile of sea pickles. And Kyle, using his non-existent hands, just going. And looking at Sky, who just looks shocked and goes, um, you know kung fu? You, you know kung fu? Since the, you know kung fu, Kyle. Once again, you know non-existent hands. He's a purple cartoon sock with googly eyes. Just stands there in all his socking glory, and just goes, "Yeah, learned it last Tuesday." All right, um, let's go. Let's go save your friend. You know, I think I think we can go after. I think it might be a good idea. Um. The, the quote-unquote King Pickle. Uh, I think that's the evil chocolate pickle that got airlifted out of here. I think we go find him. And uh, Sky just nods. Sky is in a little bit of shock right now. Sky's in just just a little bit of shock. Um, so they go, they go hop in, in Kyle's car. And once again, using his non-existent hands and feet drives the car. Um, and they pull up the Find My Friend app once again, right? Pull up the Find My Friend app once again. And, um... <clears throat> and they, they go to one more location. This one is in the middle of a vast grassy field. Okay? We have this vast grassy field. And the wind is blowing just slightly. And the sun is beginning to set in the distance. And, and our evil chocolate pickle with his monocle stands in front of what looks like an army. And next to him is a cute little frog. And I'm going to show you what this frog looks like. This is, this is what our frog looks like. Um, and, and she stands there. And she has, she's holding just like a cute little bag. It's like a backpack, but it's shaped like a heart. And she looks scared. And Sky calls out. Um, um, I need a name. Someone give me a name real fast. She calls out, she calls out, um, <clears throat> I just lost all names in my head. Please help. Peanut! Alright. From across the field, as the sun is beginning to set, and this evil chocolate pickle with a monocle stands there looking proud with an army behind him one one once again non-existent hand around the frog sky just yells peanut okay <laughs> and begins to run sky begins to run because that's her friend that's her online friend <laughs> She's running and she's running. And the evil, the evil Pita with a molecule goes, <laughs> Charge! Take them out! She's mine! Once again, we have a cartoon fight scene that just has a bunch of kapow, ka -ching, crack. You know, just those little, that just pop up and just the different ones. <clears throat> and we have Kyle standing in the background doing nothing 
And we end with, like, this army piled high and an angry sky standing in front. And she goes, That's my friend. And she doesn't seem to want to be there right now. So why don't you step forward and we settle this one on one. And this is where our evil chocolate pickle begins to look panicked. Because not only was his little sea pickle army taken care of, but now his actual army is taken care of. He looks nervous. And he goes, Okay, um, um, yeah. <laughs> um, um, why don't, why don't we just, why don't we just call this good and, um, I'll skedaddle and, uh, I'll leave. You can have Peanut. I don't, Peanut doesn't have, it's fine. It's fine. And he lets go of Peanut and Peanut goes running to Sky. And Sky, you know, gives, gives her a hug before, you know, letting go and just going, stay back. And this time, we don't get Sky's nervous, you know, nervous movements. Instead, we get them cracking their knuckles and raising their fists and going, you're not getting away that easy. And we just see on the screen pops a kapow! And we, um, we cut back to Sky with one hand lifting up this evil chocolate pickle, his monocle having fallen off of his eye, but somehow still attached. He's not wearing a suit or anything, um, but like, it's as if it's attached to a suit somehow. And, and they come walking back. And this is, as cartoon styles often do, this is when the police arrive. And they drive up in their squad, woo, 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 woo. And they take the evil chocolate pickle into custody. And, um, Sky goes up to, goes up to our little frog, who's still, you know, holding, holding her, her heart-shaped backpack. You know, her big frog eyes, you know, teary-eyed. And she just goes, thank you. And the two hug. And we cut to, we cut to a couple years later. <clears throat> We're once again in our shapey, cartoony style house that is owned by Sky. Um, and sitting on the couch is our our frog Peanut, um, who is sitting there with a giant smile on her face. And we have Sky once again pacing nervously. And Peanut just laughs and goes, Sky, sweetie, Sky. It's okay. You're going to be an amazing parent. Come on, the kid's gonna love you. Just come sit down and relax. <laughs> Just come on. Uh, and there's a knock on the door. And once again, we see uh, uh, Sky goes and opens the door and Kyle's standing there. And all of his purple sock glory. But next to him is a tiny little purple sock. And he goes, hey, Sky, this is Steven, uh, the orphan uh, that I was telling you about um, that you guys said you were going to, you know, take an imposter. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's he's, you know, he's my third cousin, um, but I I can't I can't take care of it. I can't give him the loving home that he needs. You know, I'm, I'm super happy that you guys are taking him. Uh, you guys are going to be amazing parents. The end! Our cartoon is over! <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Even now, just like re-listening to this story, bizarre. Bizarre. I need you to know the things that I was given for this story are like the words that I posted with it. So, like, the little words that are, like, right here on the screen as I'm, like, talking and, like, telling the story, that's what Chet has given me. That is what I give you. That's all I have, and then I'm told, here, make a story. And I went, well, okay, and that's what we made. <laughs> 
absolutely insane, but so much fun. This one was my favorite during the entire night. Um, but you let me know out of the stories that I've posted so far, which one's your favorite. Um, but I will see you guys next week for the next story. Goodbye.